Hey guys, so basically today we're going to talk about ISO shutter and aperture and how we can use those to make our pictures come to life and also how, how, what function do they do in photography and all that stuff. Guys, we're going to use my GoPro as a subject. So basically if we decrease the aperture and this is a 3.5 aperture, the image looks brighter and the depth of field will go down more. But if I increase the aperture, there's more detail, but it gets darker because the iris for the camera is getting smaller. And basically, the higher the aperture, the more details you can see in the background and your subject. But lower the aperture, you can. there's more focus on the subject, of course, but there's less details in the background. And I'll show you guys an example of this. I'm going to zoom all the way to my camera, and as you can see, if I get close enough, so this one is unfocused, but if I do increase my aperture, you can slowly see the background more as it's getting dimmer. And this is how it looks like. So I'm increasing my ISO to show you guys. So for example, if I decrease my aperture, the subject is the GoPro, not the background. But if I increase my aperture, I can see the background more and more clearly. And that's how I can use aperture for photography. You can increase the background or decrease it so iso is basically brightening up the image and that's basically what it is but usually you don't really need to concern about iso as long as you know that the higher the iso the more grainy the the picture and video looks so basically you should just really focus on aperture and shutter speed and i explained aperture earlier and iso uses aperture of course to make the image of course even shutter and basically ISO is just a tool for you to brighten up the image or decrease the brightness. So guys, we're just going to use my hand as an example of shutter speed. Like what does it do? So basically, higher the shutter speed, the less bright it gets, of course. Lower the shutter speed, the more bright it gets. Um, for example, I'm shooting um, 1080p 60 frames per second. If I were to go below that requirement, what happens is that it looks like this. There's like blur, but if I increase it, it looks more smooth. Like there's no blur, as you can see. This is a 60, but if I go below the requirement, it looks like this. You see that? The image is brighter, but the motion is blurry. But if I increase the the shutter speed, the the movement of my hand looks more clearer and less bright. The image. Oh. So I'm going to just show you like a severe version of the motion blur. So I'm 1 200 which is pretty good for 1080p 60 frames. And basically you have to go over 60 frames to achieve like this very smooth motion, you know, like this, like very smooth. So I'm going to go really down to the point where it's like only 15 frames and then I'm going to decrease my ISO so that you can see, can see that it's like this, like holy cow. It looks like shit, but then like, you know, if you increase it up to the minimum requirement and then increasing the ISO, for example, it looks like this. So yeah, that's what shutter speed is. So right now I'm just using my GoPro. It's not really good for any focusing type of thing. So basically, if you guys were to look at this, for example, this is um seconds. Once you hit over a certain point where instead of being one over three, it becomes a full digit number that becomes seconds basically so if it's like 20 that's 20 seconds and if it's like one it's one second and if it's like 0.5 that's like 0.5 seconds um the lower the number by like decimals for example one over 30 that's like for example in one second that's one over 30 so when you take a picture you're taking one over 30 of, of a second of that moment which is kind of Confusing, but I'll let you guys know a little bit more detail and um, basically the higher the shutter the faster you take the picture The the more the number becomes a whole number the slower it takes picture basically and Basically if you're 1 over 200 when you take a picture, it's more instant and if you take like 5 for example Or 6 or some shit. It's basically you have to wait 6 seconds while holding the camera and um this is the part that affects picture and also video, of course, which I explained earlier. So lower the number to become almost whole number 
it's basically going to turn into a motion blur chaos. And basically, in picture taking, it's usually more better to take it in a way where it's already like in the hundreds or thousands because you take the picture instantaneously. Um, when you're taking an image, of, for example, you have to realize that the lower your shutter gets, there's going to be motion blur while taking pictures, such as video taking. But higher the shutter, less motion blur, and more easy to capture the image to become looking smooth. And in dark environments, it's usually preferable to go on a lower shutter, lower shutter and lower, um, lower ISO maybe. But it's a very conditional thing, as I told you guys earlier, that ISO is just a tool for you to brighten up your, your image. So guys, we're going to conclude this video, and basically, I'm just going to do the whole rundown in this few seconds. So lower the aperture, more bright. Higher the aperture, less bright, because less light goes into the sensor. ISO is basically controlling brightness. Shutter is controlling brightness too. And basically, shutter, the, the more whole number you become, such as like 1 over 8th, the more motion blur you get. But if you're like 1 over... 500 there's less motion blur aperture lower the aperture less detail behind the subject higher the aperture more detail behind the subject and that's basically the end of the video hopefully you guys like my examples and thank you for watching and yeah um if you guys want to i don't know why i'm not showing my face but if you guys want any more videos like this and you know i'll just like teach you guys how to take pictures maybe because i'm better doing that right now than videography Hopefully you guys will see more of my content and thank you for watching. And yeah, this is the end of the video.